What's up guys, so we today are going to show you how to remove a Rolls Royce Cullinan front bumper in order to remove this front grille in the case you're wanting to black it out. In our case, we're actually wrapping this entire vehicle, so we have to wrap the bumper, we have to wrap the grill, um, so we gotta get it all off. But well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. All right, so your first step is gonna be to remove this uh, small shroud right here, um, which is actually super simple. You have four T20 screws back here. Um, once you remove those, it's just pressure clips left over to pull this out. Now that you've got those four off, the rest of this is just pressure clips. Um, you pop these out right here. The other ones on the sides be pretty easy to pop off. And you've got the shroud off. Once you have this piece off, uh, you've got a T30 on each side here um, that's holding this entire corner down with the grill and the bumper. Um, so you'll want to go ahead and just remove that T30 real quick. All right, so once you get those screws out, this entire section will be pretty loose. Um, you'd think that the grill would almost come out, but there's actually four screws underneath here, which is underneath the bumper, which you're not gonna be able to get to without actually removing this bumper. So the next step is to remove all the screws in the bottom of the bumper, which are all eight millimeter screws like this. So there's a total of uh, 10 of these eight millimeter screws along the bottom. Um, they're fairly easy to get to and just remove. And then you will have a clip on each corner. There is a, um, all you need is a clip puller for it. Pretty simple to pop out. And there's one on each side. So you want to get those out next. Once you get those out, the bottom of the bumper will be fairly loose at that point. And the only thing left holding it in is the bolts on the side of the bumpers. Um, which is more 8mm bolts. And they are right here. There's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, the 5 hold the fender liner here onto the bumper. So you, you'll want to remove those on each side next. Once you remove the 5 screws here on the fender liner, you may or may not have a piece that pops out like this. It's supposed to be double-sided to the bumper. I dropped it. It's supposed to be double-sided to the bumper. Um, it doesn't really work that well, so this one fell right off. But you should still be able to get it back there and put the screw right back in when you're done. Um, but once you have those out, you'll be able to bend this fender liner back a bit, and you've got three 10 millimeter bolts under, underneath there, which are gonna be right here, here, and here. You will see five, there's two more here. These two do not have to come out, just these first three. Once you get those out, the front bumper right there will be loose and you'll be ready to go ahead and pull it off. So once you've got all the bolts off, um, this front grill is actually gonna stay in place when you remove it. The front bumper is gonna come off on its own. You will want to unclip the bumper from the grill here, which if you have a plastic pry tool, it's fairly easy just to pop these clips out right here on each side. And you will also have some on the bottom right here. Once you get those loosened up, it'll make removing it much easier. Um, then I do recommend you grab a second pair of hands, obviously, to pull this off. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that and uh, get to it. You got the bumper ready to come off. You do have a wiring harness that's clipped in right here. Um, it's also clipped into the actual metal here and down here. So you'll just wanna use your pry tool to pry that up and off. the other side as well so same thing just pop out the uh, plastic clips that are holding it in place depress the clamp here to get the uh, connectors disconnected and then you'll just want to pry this off right there and then feed it right out
then you will have the front bumper off. Once you've got the front bumper off, now you can officially get the grill off. We've already removed the T30s up here. You just have the four T30s left down here. I've got these two off. I'll get these two off and the front grill should come right off for us. So once the grill is ready to come out, you do have one plug right here for the camera. Um, it's a little bit tight. It would make it easier if you just pop out this plastic right here. It just holds it attached. Once you remove that and this is loose, it's gonna be a lot easier to get in here. Just to pop out this clip for the uh, camera. That is your clip. Once you've got that out, front grill will come right out. That is it.